chapter 2. Is matter around us pure? Pure substances and mixtures. When you buy food stuffs like milk, ghee and sugar from the market, you would have noticed the word pure written on their packets. What does pure mean in these cases? It means having no adulteration. But are they actually pure? In science, when we say that something is pure, it means that the substance is made up of same particles throughout. Milk is made of water, fat and proteins. Hence, it is a mixture and not pure. On the other hand, sugar is made of sugar particles only. Hence, it is a pure substance. Thus, matter around us comprises of two types of substances, pure substances and mixtures. Most of the substances around us exist as mixtures of two or more substances. Wood is made up of cellulose and lignin. Soil is made up of rock, sand, clay, use, etc. Milk is made up of water, fat, proteins, etc. Salt solution is made up of salt and water. There are also some substances which exist as single substances. They are called pure substances. A pure substance consists of only one type of atoms or molecules. For example, nitrogen is made up of atoms of nitrogen. Sodium is made up of atoms of sodium. Common salt or sodium chloride is made up of only molecules of sodium chloride. On the basis of their chemical composition, pure substances are divided into elements and compounds. Here, nitrogen and sodium are elements, but common salt is a compound. Sugar and mercury are pure substances. What does sugar and mercury contain? Sugar molecules contains atoms of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Mercury is made up of only atoms of mercury. So, sugar is a compound, but mercury is an element. Let's do a quick check.
this mixture? What do you observe? The iron fillings cling to mammary while sulfur powder remains in the ditch. The properties of iron and sulfur are retained in the mixture. We use a simple physical process like boiling a magnet to separate iron from the mixture. Now, we can summarize the properties of a mixture. In a mixture, two or more elements or compounds are not chemically combined together. The constituents of a mixture retain their original properties. The constituents of a mixture can be separated by using a physical process like hand cooking, filtration, holding a magnet, etc. Here are a few more examples of mixtures. Which group has obtained a 
the amount of solute present in a given amount of the solution. There are two methods of expressing the concentration of the solution. If the solution is prepared by dissolving solid solute in a liquid, then we consider the mass percentage of the solute for determining the concentration of the solution. Here, the concentration of the solution is defined as the mass of the solute in grams present in 100 grams of the solution. If 10 grams of sodium chloride is present in 100 grams of the solution, then the mass by mass percentage of the solution can be calculated by using the formula concentration of solution equals mass of solute divided by mass of solution multiplied by 100. Here, mass of solute equals 10 grams. Mass of solution equals 100 grams. Therefore, concentration of solution is 10 divided by 100 multiplied by 100. That is equal to 10% by mass. If the solution is prepared by dissolving a liquid solute in a liquid, then we consider the volume percentage of the solute for determining the concentration of the solution. Here, the concentration of the solution is defined as the volume of the solute in milliliters present in 100 milliliters of the solution. Then the mass by volume percentage of the solution can be calculated using the formula concentration of solution equals volume of solute divided by volume of solution multiplied by 100. If 50 ml of alcohol is mixed with 150 ml of water, here volume of solute equals 50 ml, volume of water equals 150 ml. So, the total volume of solution equals volume of solute plus volume of solvent equals 50 plus 150 equals 200 ml. Therefore, concentration of the solution equals 50 divided by 200 multiplied by 100. That is equal to 25% by volume. Let's do a quick check. Suspensions are unstable. The particles of suspension 